In Door County news, Door County is famous for its wine tasting and its orchards. But did you know that one particular harvest 75 years ago was made possible by some unlikely cherry pickers? Local 5's Aaron Taylor takes a deep dive into the harvest of 1945. That's when German prisoners of war captured during World War II worked right here in northeast Wisconsin. to be called Cherryland USA. In fact, we still sort of use that moniker. The Door County Historical Museum's cherry exhibit is extensive, but one photo on the wall stands out from the others. People will come up to us and say, oh, I didn't realize that there were German prisoners of war here. That's Maggie Weir, a curator at the museum, explaining this little known piece of Door County's history. There's a picture of uh, guards holding rifles, but my understanding is they weren't really loaded. These pictures are just about all that remains of the German POW's time in Door County. And of course, most of the farmers that house them are long gone now. But less than an hour drive up the peninsula is something else left over from that much forgotten era. This is the Door County Wildwood Market. During the summer months, you can buy things here like fresh produce and tarts. But there was a time when this building served a very different purpose. During World War II, it housed German POWs. And I just thought it was a very neat building. I knew nothing about the German POWs when I moved the building. Mark Carlson and his wife, Mary Pat, have owned the building and operated their farmer's market out of it for nearly two decades. I grew up in Sister Bay. Born and raised there. But even a lifetime in Door County didn't prepare Mark for what he learned after acquiring the building. A friend of my dad's stopped in when I was working on it, converting it into a market. Casually mentioned to me, he said, uh, I picked up German POWs from this building. First I'd ever heard anything about it. Both of our fathers um, served in World War II, and there was never any mention of it. And um, and yet here it was so close to home. It was home. And while they were in Door County for the harvest of 1945, it was also home to those German POWs. A lot of the workers had already gone, uh, had gone to war. So they were delighted to have these Germans there that, um, and the Germans were actually delighted to be here as well. They would rather be harvesting cherries than, um, than fighting. They had no intention of escaping or going anywhere. They were just young people and enjoyed their time in Door County. After the war and the POW's departure, the county moved on and buildings like this one were used to house migrant workers. This is the last building of its kind left in the area. We wanted to keep the face of it looking just like it was. And I've had so many people thank me for saving it. Because if I wouldn't have moved it, it would have been bulldozed. It, you know, history would have been gone. I guess it's all about the history of it. Um, to be able to have people walk in and, and realize that we haven't refinished the floors, those are the floors that the German prisoners walked. A forgotten history anyone can walk right into, right here in Door County. In Sister Bay, Aaron Taylor, Local 5 News. Thanks, Aaron. The Door County Wildwood Market is open seasonally. It'll reopen after Memorial Day. And for more on what we were able to uncover about the history of German POWs in Door County, you can head to our website at wearegreenbay.com. Also on our website, you can find an exclusive interview with Aaron Taylor and Mark and Mary Pat talking about their experiences while working and living in Door County. And a woman who lived on a cherry orchard in Sturgeon Bay during that harvest of 1945 remembers when those German prisoners of war came to work. Erin Taylor sat down with Jerry Sargent and will bring us her story. And you can see that tomorrow on Local 5 News at 6. Fascinating. I never knew that. It was. Who knew?